Hey, I'm Smirk here, and during the PGL CS2 Copenhagen Major, Spirit went up against Na'Vi on the CT side of Mirage, and during the game, Na'Vi kept throwing a top mid smoke that Spirit had to deal with. In this video, we're going to look at a mid push Spirit will use to counter the smoke and surprise Na'Vi. At the start of the round, Na'Vi are going to throw the top mid smoke. To help deal with control, Shiro will throw the default Molotov landing on the top mid boxes. Meanwhile, you will have Donk coming in from connector, flashing and peeking. And to help Donk peek out, you have Chopper from A flashing above top mid. Later, Zortix will peek out and they will begin the push. Donk will creep up against the wall, hiding in the smoke, and Zortix will hold for the cross. As the smoke is about to fade and Na'Vi get focused on Zortix, Donk can peek out from the smoke and go for kills. And in this strat, they're going to be playing 2A, 2 mid, and later 1B. And this is because in the scenario Na'Vi saw this mid push and wanted to do something as a reaction, they may try to push A where there's two players waiting. And you can have two more players come in for easy rotations. Our main focus piece is going to be Donk. Donk at the start of the round will come through CT, mort of A, and throw this flashbang, allowing him to go for a peek, catching any players running up cat. Once he's confident no one's running up cat, he'll spam the smoke, hoping to deal damage to players who are waiting for the top mid Molotov to fade. Once Zortix gets out of short, he's gonna throw the smoke landing at close connector. Now, I don't know if this smoke is supposed to land a bit shallow, denying vision from under, but do be aware if you do throw the smoke like this and you have no one covering under, you are going to be completely vulnerable from the back. When Donk throws the smoke, he will start slowly making his way up, waiting for the smoke to fade. When the smoke fades, he sees Alexi B peeking out, but Zontix gets the kill. Afterwards, he will peek out even further, trying to fight Wonderful, but unfortunately loses the fight. Taking a look at Zortix, Zortix at the start of the round will Molotov apps and will make his way into short. And when Donk is ready, he will grenade the top mid smoke, hoping to catch players who are behind it. At this point, he's going to hold the smoke and wait for it to fade, where he catches Alexi B. Unfortunately, Donk will die, so he will slowly fall away, not wanting to give away his life. Shiro at the start of the round will be smoked off from window, so to help his teammates in mid, he will throw this Molotov. He does this by getting on top of here, aiming at the bottom left of this roof, keeping his crosshair still, put his back against the wall, and run and left click as soon as he's about to hit the wall. This Molotov will land top mid, denying T side access. After throwing the Molotov, he will make his way over to B. And at the start of the round, we're going to have Chopper from CT throw an early flashbang, allowing Donk to peek out connector into top mid. However, it is worth noting later on, I would like to see one of the A players throw another flash for Donk to peek with as the smoke in top mid is about to fade, giving him better odds to win the fight against Wonderful. But unfortunately in this round, no one from A throws a flashbang. And looking at the T side perspective, Alexi B is waiting for the smoke to fade, and as he's about to peek out, he looks towards short and is suddenly in a fight against two players. Meanwhile for Wonderful, he's going to react off Alexi B's call and get the kill into Donk. In the scenario the A players threw a flash, this kill likely wouldn't have happened. 